What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here. I still don't have hearing in my left ear. And this is the Heart Pro bagless upright vacuum. And I purchased this not too long ago. And as you can see, I haven't used it yet. Or I guess I've used it for like two seconds just to make sure it's working. You can see a little patch right there. But uh, let's vacuum the living room with this. The living room is very disorganized right now. I understand that, but still. We'll go ahead and give us a test. Power button right here, brush roll right there. Let's see what this does. It does seem to agitate pretty well. right underneath. I thought I sucked up something important, but I just looked at the bin and there's nothing in there, so we're good.
Well, I gotta say the results, as far as what it picks up, is very impressive. Now, I haven't, now for the record, I haven't vacuumed this room since I did the video on the Dyson, which was roughly four days ago. So, this is about four days of hair <laughs> on this carpet. Pretty good amount. So, I gotta say, brush roller does a good job. It agitates pretty well. There's no height adjustment. But, put this down. You can see very stiff bristles. One thing I really like is I've I've commented so many times how vacuums that have rubber coated back wheels will often neglect the front wheels but on this one all the wheels are rubber coated in fact they're just rubber wheels entirely so it'll be interesting to see how well these wear but it also has okay so that's how you get to the HEPA filter I was wondering it's very hot, like burning hot, in fact. Uh, uses a lot of heat. It looks like I can see the motor in there, kind of. I don't know if you can make anything out from inside there. Perhaps see the type of motor that is. I don't know if that says anything or not, but HEPA filter pops in easily enough, sort of. So, I mean, you've got a bagless vacuum with a sealed system and a HEPA filter with a brush roller shutoff and a secondary motor. All for 70 bucks. Can I really complain? Well, actually, yes, I can. I'm going to do that right now. So, this cleans very well. But I do not like using this machine. This machine is very heavy. It's very cumbersome. And because it has the... Because it's copied the shark design, where the main suction motor is off of the floor, that means you're holding that weight in your hand. And that makes it very, very cumbersome to use. And my hand hurts after just using this in my small living room and on a small section of my kitchen floor, which is not good. Not at all. So, that being said, I can forgive all that stuff for the $70 that this machine goes for. And I'll use this a little bit more. I'll do a full review on it, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep it. I very well may take it back. But we'll see how it goes. It's definitely one of those weird machines that you're not going to see very many of these in the wild. You're going to see a lot of the Hoover equivalent, I'm sure. But the Hart equivalent, you're not going to see too much of. Which alone is tempting me to keep this, even though I don't like the vacuum. So, it, do, it did do a good job. I'll give it that. It did a good job. So, yeah. I'll do a little bit more research on, on this machine, see what all is available as far as after-sales support. I'll use it for a bit further in preparation of the full review, and we'll see if this is worth it for 70 bucks. So... That is that. So those are my first impressions of the Heart Pro. And my first impressions are, eh, it's mixed. Now, is it objectively one of the best values that you can get at $70? Yes. In fact, it's the most versatile $70 vacuum that you can find, to my knowledge. It's, the question is, is that good enough? given its many other faults in terms of it being very heavy, being very cumbersome, the attachments not being very good. Does that outweigh it all? Well, we'll see. I'll keep using this 
and report with my final conclusions in the full review, presumably later this week, probably early July. So anyways, this is Intellitech Studio signing out with my first run, first use, and first impressions of the Heart Pro HV-01-08, I forgot what it was, it's something like that on the back. HZUV U U V O one, excuse me, H Z U V O one. And yeah, so good amount of hair. Although I did, for the record, I did brush both my dog and my cat and wipe the remnants of their hair on the carpet, so it picked up all that, which is good. That's what it's supposed to do. So that's good. And yeah, that is that.